Okay, cool. And then the final thing is integration. At one, at some point in this journey, when you release willpower, when you release like aggression, you release forcefulness. At some point, there will be an integration. It usually happens when we let go of things, right? That's a big theme again. When we release, let go, and we open up to the flow. By the way, getting in flow has a lot to do with things flowing. That's another metaphysical reality. You want to get into the flow, you want to tap into synchronicity, hypersynchronicity, you got to be an open container for energy to channel through. If you have a block or stagnation, a cardiovascular stagnation, otherwise known as a cerebrovascular disease, otherwise known as a stroke, right? People think stroke is a neurodegenerative disease. It's a cardio, it's a vascular disease. We'll talk about a little bit about that as we move on. I want to kind of save that piece, but just so we're clear, it's a circulatory problem. Blood and oxygen ain't flowing to the brain, so its fuel supply gets cut off and then things stop working, right? I want you to take that piece with you if you know anyone with a issue, a memory issue, or the motor function disorder, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that. Flow. We need more flow. So the integration piece is amazing. One day through this journey, you will look in the mirror and you will become unrecognizable to yourself. That's a, that is an amazing feeling. That is a feeling that goes beyond anything. One day you look in the mirror and you are unrecognizable to yourself and you realize, okay, wow, this is, this is, this is something here. This is working. You actually, instead of walking and talking about it, you become a living testament of it without trying. You become an embodiment of it. I mean, when I talk to like groups of like really like raw food enthusiasts, like I start to ask questions about like who tried to be 100% raw and just like with willpower and just tried so hard and failed. Almost everyone's hand goes up. Then I ask them who didn't try at all and it happened. And then like people are like, you know, different periods in your life. Like, whoa, whoa, like, yeah, like I've been six months raw now. It just happens like that. Ease, grace, and flow. You don't even try. That's the beauty about this lifestyle. No other diet can do this. Every other diet is superficial. Like I was saying yesterday, it's a superficiality of our culture. Oh, macronutrients, just weigh out your protein and your fats and your carbs and just, you know, whatever. That, that doesn't make any sense. It's an illusion, essentially. It's an illusion, and we have to actually be broken out of that program. And I want to say this, too, about my experience working in the emergency room for three years, working around doctors and nurses and the whole thing. And the last year I worked in there is when I went raw. Whoa. That's when I had – that's why I have the perspective and the, 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 like, the, 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 the uh, like strong point of view that I do. I'm not just a rebellious young man like against the system. Trust me. I've seen it in front of me. I've seen things that most people will never see. I've seen things that most people you don't even want to know about. I didn't want to know about it. I didn't sign up for that. But the universe is like, put that in his face. He needs to see what's going on for himself. So I could have that experience. So I could relay that to, to other people, right? And so well, my feeling is that the reason that that exists the way that it does, and there's such a control mechanism at the highest levels, and people are in such a state of debilitation, people are literally, like if you're a health coach, you need to know that so many people walking this planet are jaded right now. They're totally jaded. Some of you may feel like this. Like they've been through the doctors, they've been through the dentists, they've been through the, the osteopaths, the, the oncologists, they've been through the... the uh, the optometrist they've they've been through the naturopath they've been through the natural the natural nutri the nutritionist and, and the whole like YouTube nonsense they've been through like all the different diets and the controversies they've been sincerely through the whole program and then they end up at this place where they're still like I don't know what to do I'm still sick I'm still I still have the same problems nobody's helping me and people get jaded 
and they have all this emotional toxicity and they have nowhere their families left them or they didn't have a family, the financial system cheated them, whatever. They've been just totally stripped of everything. And I feel like the reason that happens is to actually break them out of the paradigm. Like some people are going to be in that, that, that very conventional medical model and they're going to keep going through it and they're going to get spun from this doctor to that doctor, this drug to that drug. They're going to keep getting spun until their belief system gets broken. And then they find themselves on this end where they don't even have any options left, right? That's a big thing going on. I've been observing lately, like, wow, like, okay, this is deep. And it's, and not, and it's hard to talk about. It's hard to hear sometimes, but it's definitely, it's definitely something to think about if it, if it resonates with you on any level. But anyways, what happens through the, end of, through the, through the progression of things is you become an embodiment of, of, of your authenticity, of what's right for you, what's true for you, through purging, cleansing, nourishing yourself. It just starts to form together, right? Some of us have had that experience. Me being up here teaching and talking the way I am like this, with this level of conviction, this is not like it just, I just happened, right? It's, a, it's been a progressive journey. And then one day I looked in the mirror, one day I watched a video of a lecture I did, I'm like, whoa, okay, that's different. Something shifted through participation, through going through the process and getting to a place where you literally are, you transformed. You're a superhero now. Boom, there you go off into the world to do your mission.